Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss about Peter Bourdieu's forms of capital. And particularly, I will focus on the social capital. Before going to discuss about the forms of capital of Peter Bourdieu, we shall know what is the theoretical background of Peter Bourdieu. Peter Bourdieu basically tried to uh, maintain integrative approach. Here integrative approach means the maintaining a bridge or uh, the uh, creating a bridge between uh, subjectivism and objectivism. That is Bourdieu wanted to overcome the uh, dialectic or contradiction between subjectivism and objectivism. Here objectivism is advocated by the structuralism, the positivism and others. And subjectivism is basically advocated by the phenomenology, ethnomethodology, dramaturgy, symbolic interactionism and others. So according to Bourdieu, both these approach of understanding society is incomplete. So he tried to uh, find out a middle way, a bridge between these two approach, these two, uh, uh, the, to these two theoretical orientation in the sociology. According to Bodio, the objectivism exclusively focused on the objective structure of the society and completely ignored the individual's mental capacity, individual's uh, subjectivism. Similarly, the subjectivism who exclusively focused on the individual's way of constructing the society and social structure and completely ignored the role of the social structure. According to Bourdieu, uh, the, both the social structure and the individual is inseparable, uh, inseparable part of the society. That is, both are uh, inseparable, both are essential part of the society. So we have to understand, uh, we have to understand the society uh, by focusing on the structure and the individuals. Bourdieu is like the Anthony Giddens. Anthony Giddens who uh, gave his structuration theory and through structuration theory he uh, maintained a bridge between the subjectivism and objectivism. Similarly, the Podio pointed out the, uh, the uh, lacking in the sociology because of this extreme uh, contradiction and the dialectic between objectivism and subjectivism and he put forwarded his theoretical ideas through certain concepts. So most important concepts are the habitus fields and the capital. So I will just give uh, the brief understanding about the habitus and um, the fields and then I will explain about the uh, capital. Habitus is the mental or cognitive structure through which individuals deal with the social world. Habitus forms or develops in the society because of the frequent and consistent uh, practice or performance of individuals in the society. So habitus is based on the past events as well as the present situations. So individuals habitus forms not just based on the present situation rather it forms on the basis of individuals the past events or society's past events and the present situations and individuals minds capacity to anticipate about the future. Uh, on the basis of this individuals uh, habitus forms. Another important concept put forwarded by Bourdieu is the field. According to Bourdieu the society itself forms as a field and again there are numbers of fields emerges and forms within the society. Now what are these fields? Here are certain examples I will give. Fields are like the political field, the field of power, the educational field, cultural field, religious fields. So fields are actually the, the configuration of the relationship between different positions or configuration of the relationship among the various positions in the society. Here position refers the positions of individuals as well as the positions of various 
uh, institutions, various practices uh, in the society. Now, these fields which determines the habitus of the people in the society and the fields which acts as a constraining force in the process of the action of the individuals or activities of the individuals in the society. So in other words, we can say that Bodio tried to say that the fields are the structure of the society. Now these uh, fields in the society again developed the various forms of capital in the society. So here we will discuss about uh, the various forms of capital. In explaining the various forms of capital, Bodio took the idea of Marxism. But unlike Marxism, Bodio extended his concept of uh, capital beyond the economic capital. Marx was just focused on the economic capital, but Bodio, who uh, mentioned about three types of capital, economic capital, cultural capital and social capital. So these three capitals we will discuss and according to Bodio that these three capitals can convert from one capital to another capital. That is one capital can converted into another form of capital. So the economic capital means the wealth, property, the means of productions, the source of livelihood and others. A society rests on the economic capital. This is very important. Second type of capital which mentioned by Bodio is the cultural capital. According to him, cultural capitals are education, the art, the, uh, the architecture and many other things. And third important form of capital is the social capital. Social capital according to Bodio is the, the social networking of the peoples in the society. That is networking, the relationship which may be kinship and may be a beyond kinship relationship. Now according to Bodio, these three forms of capital are essential part of the society. It is essential part of the field. Field consists of all this capital and individual develops the habitus in the context of these capitals and the fields in the society. That is individuals in their action and activities acquires the different forms of the capital and they do competition to acquire the different forms of capital. Now how these capitals can convert to other capital. There is one capital may uh, be converted to other capital. This is not the, uh, the disappearance of one capital from uh, other capital. Rather how individuals uh, capital uh, may changes from one capital to another capital. There is for example individual has the economic capital, individual has wealth, property. So this individual can uh, convert his economic capital into cultural and social capital. How? Because of the wealth and property individual may purchase the education, may educate his or her child into a very uh, prestigious and very luxurious and very costly university or colleges or institutions and can get the degree what the uh, less wealthy uh, peoples cannot entertain or cannot uh, ensure cannot get the facilities. So only wealthy and property persons or individuals can avail a good quality education from very very costly and luxurious institutions. So this is how this economic the persons with economic capital can uh, convert his economic capital into the social uh, the cultural capital that is the persons also may own the cultural capital. Similarly because of his economic and cultural capital the he may also attain the uh, social capital that is the persons may have bigger network and the higher network of the society 
and this may ensure his the social capital that is he may be equipped with the social capital as well so this is how uh, the economic capital is important for others others capitals are also important there is cultural and social capitals are also important but economic capital uh, plays a very important role in attaining or acquiring social and cultural capital <clears throat> another example here i will put forward like an individual has the the cultural capital that is maybe individual is very educated intellectuals so this intellectualism and this education of the persons may lead towards the economic capital the persons may get in higher positions in the economic field and may get the economic capital may get, may acquire the economic capital and due to these two form of uh, forms of capital the persons also acquires the social capital becomes a very very important person in the social networking that is in the network of his or her uh, relationship how cultural capital may converts into the economic and social capital that is how individuals cultural capital uh, leads him to acquire the economic and social capital a religious person that is a spiritual person or a religious a priest or guru who has a religious significance in the field of religion is his the cultural capital this person has the cultural capital because of his religious significance in the field of religion so this cultural capital may leads the persons acquire the economic capital as well as the social capital persons. so this is uh, the peter bordios understanding of the capital that is how various forms of the capital exist in the society and these capitals interchanges this capital have the interaction within them there is individuals may not just have the economic capital individuals may have the cultural and social capital at a time one person may have one form of capital or may be all the three form of capital and it's not that only one form of capital will persist no the if the persons has one form of capital in uh, in present time so in the next time that is in course of time the persons may also acquire the other forms of capital so in this way we will discuss about other concepts of that body in the next video please watch the complete video like put your comment in the comment box and express your views if you have any 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 suggestions or recommendations